February is here, love it in the air, and Valentine's is just around the corner, where they make single people like me feel like this. <laughs> Why won't nobody love me? Okay, fun over. I honestly do not feel about that way when Valentine's Day comes around. To be honest, to me, Valentine's Day is just a, another day to me. I'm not honest. I honestly do not feel that way. But, and I, to be honest, I honestly really don't care about most couples. Except for anime slash manga couples. This is my list for the top 5 anime slash manga couples. Let's dive in, shall we? Number 5 is Amu and Tadase from Sugar Chara. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you who I like. Well, if I like them more in the anime or if I like them more in the manga. Now in the manga it ends up that Amu is meant to be with Ikto, I think. I can't remember the exact day, but I think that's what happens. So I would say I like the anime better because you can tell she she's kind of going to get with Tadasi with that after Ikto was like, no, you will be with him and stuff like that. So yeah, I like them because, I don't know, they're cute and to be honest, they're, you know, in the same school and it's like, I don't know, Ikto, like, well, Ikto was meant to be in high school and she's in elementary school. Why? Why? Wait, why? Like, I mean, seriously. Seriously? Sorry. So yeah, they are honestly perfect for each other. They get along. And yes, and their mixed personalities work really well. Number four is <clears throat> Suna and Haru from Kikyo Hitman Reborn. Now, I know a lot of you would think that Suna and Kyoko are better together, but no, 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 they're not, nah, mm -mm, don't like it. I honestly think that Suna and Haru are a lot better for each other. I don't know, this is my opinion. I don't know, I can't really compare their relationship from the anime from the manga because there's not really been much to say about it. But it doesn't mean that, you know, all right, let's look at it, right? Haru is probably being the first girl that actually likes Suna for who he is and actually first one to actually fall for him and care for him and then there's Kyoko let's not talk about her I honestly think they're a better fit they're you know and plus to be honest Haru's more useful to, in the mafia world than Kyoko is Think about it, those disguises are pretty good. I mean, sooner you should be picking that up, I'm just saying. So yes, I honestly like them. I think they're a, they're odd couple. Yes, I'd say that, but I honestly think that Suna should end up with Haru. So yeah, hurry it up, Suna, because it's time to annoy me. In number three, my number three pick is Sora and Kairi from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> me. Before you put that in your comments, and McKinney, that's a video game. It's also manga, so boom. I don't have the actual manga with me because I can't find it in any shop, so I've been reading it online. But yes, we all obviously know from the video games that they like each other, and even the manga, it makes it clear that Sora likes Kylie. And they're just cute together, and I just love them. Honestly, they're just the best couple in the arts, in my opinion. And number two is Toro and Kyo from Fruits Basket. Now I'd have to say I like the manga a lot better than the anime because it didn't freaking stop in the middle of everything like wait what's going on like the anime did. Where's season two? Seriously where? Where is it? But we do have the manga to know what happens next and we spoilers if you have not read this but Toro and Kyo end up together and they really seem really happy and I think they're that freaking adorable and yes they belong together not Toro and Yuki because that's just the note code and that's just really cliche now for my number one now this anime slash manga I first did watch the anime because I was about five years old and this couple is the reason why I believe that one day I will find Mr. Right, he just hasn't appeared yet, and that manga slash anime happens to be Sailor Moon. So it's Serena and Darian, or if you like the Japanese term, Usagi and Momo. 
Mamoru, yeah, Mamoru. Sorry, I can never get his right, it's Mamoru. So yes, growing up, I fell in love with the anime. And I liked the couple, and I liked Serena and Darian together. And then, when I found out about the manga, I read it, and I have to say, the manga explores their relationship a lot better than it did in the anime. I mean, come on. They hardly spent time together. Either he turned evil, or, well, brainwashed, or, I don't know, they had to break up, or he forgot his memory, and blah, 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 something. And then he moved away, and ugh. It got annoying. But in the manga, you even, spoilers, I think I've read, they even get a wet we even see their wedding. Not in this one, but later on, we get their freaking wedding. I mean, it's n nice that the manga actually explored their relationship more. And I know, like I was saying about Amu and um, Tadasi making more sense because they were in the same school and same grades, but I don't know, Sailor Moon makes it work more. And you know their destinies to be together, and I don't care what you feckin' big people say. Saya, no, eh, eh, no Saya. I don't like Saya. Nah. So yes, Serena and Darian slash Yusagi and Mamoru. Yes, that. As I said, these two are the reason why I believe in love, and I will find my tuxedo mask one day, hopefully. All right, I'll see you guys later. And see ya!